So now I'm gonna show you how to use dig assist to do a slope. I know where my slope needs to be, but I don't know what percentage of slope it is. So I'm gonna use quick measure to quickly help me figuring that out. I'm gonna click, click measures, and choose it as one of the views in the copilot. So I have now my bucket in the point where I need to start. So I'm gonna zero it and move the bucket to where my slope needs to finish. So I see that my slope is roughly 60%. And this is the exact number that I need now when I'm managing a project and creating the slope in my job site. So I'm gonna use the same project as before and I'm gonna add a new slope. By clicking the slope, I will select the reference method that I wanna use. In this case, I'm going to use attachment. I'm going to say that the reference point of my bucket is gonna be the center of my blade. I'm gonna press set. As we've seen before, I want a long slope of roughly 60%. Gonna press set. If I was willing to, to, to set any offset, I could do it now or later I can get back and do it as I want. So it's gonna be a long slope of 60% with zero offsets for now. The machine heading is enabled, which helped me move the machine without losing the sight of my slope. Otherwise, I will be digging a cone while swinging. I'm gonna press save. And if I use the view, I actually have the slope in my copilot drawn and I can easily now dig accordingly.